Managing diabetes can be challenging without a well-balanced diet. However, you can simplify this task by excluding the following vegetables from your regular meal plans. This compiled list of vegetables to steer clear of in diabetes can assist you in better meal planning. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number one, corn. While corn is a common ingredient in many dishes, it is not recommended for individuals diagnosed with diabetes, even in small amounts. Just one cup of corn can contribute around 21 grams of carbohydrates to your diet. Additionally, it contains glucose, which can have adverse effects on your blood sugar levels. Similarly, corn syrup, derived from this vegetable, is also best avoided for those with diabetes. Number two, pickled vegetables. Some varieties of vegetables may not be conducive to a healthy lifestyle, particularly if you're struggling with a lifestyle-related condition. Pickling, as a process, involves subjecting a vegetable to prolonged exposure to high levels of sodium. Opting for excessive amounts of salt and vinegar in this preparation method can adversely affect an individual's blood pressure. This is particularly concerning for individuals with diabetes as they are already susceptible to cardiovascular conditions, and an excess of sodium intake can exacerbate the situation. Number three, potatoes. Despite being a dietary staple for many, Potatoes are one of the vegetables that individuals with diabetes should steer clear of. This is primarily due to their elevated levels of starch and carbohydrates, which can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. With a glycemic index of 86 per 100 grams, potatoes are considered unsuitable for a diabetes-friendly diet. Whether they're baked, fried, boiled, or roasted, consuming potatoes in any form can be detrimental to effective blood sugar management. Number four, celery. The unexpected addition to the roster of vegetables to steer clear of for individuals with diabetes is celery. Despite its low calorie and carbohydrate content, along with its high water content, the cultivation and transportation process play a crucial role. Due to its tall growth, celery tends to be more susceptible to pesticides. By the time it reaches your home, it often carries an unhealthy load of chemicals and pesticides, rendering it potentially hazardous for consumption. Given that individuals with diabetes generally have lower immunity, consuming such produce can lead to a range of health complications. Number five, green peas. If you've been curious about which green vegetable may not be advisable for diabetes, the answer is green peas. While they offer substantial nutritional benefits, they are deemed unsuitable for individuals with diabetes due to their elevated carbohydrate content. Consuming a significant quantity of peas can result in an accumulation of carbohydrates in the body, potentially leading to elevated blood sugar levels. Number six, packaged vegetable juice. While technically not a vegetable, it's worth noting because it's often used as a substitute for fresh produce. Whether you're consuming juices derived from carrots, bottle gourd, tomato, bitter gourd, etc., ensure they are freshly prepared and not store-bought. Commercially packaged juices tend to be loaded with excessive sugars, chemicals, and preservatives depleting the nutritional benefits. For individuals with diabetes, such products can lead to fluctuations in blood sugar levels and potentially contribute to various health complications due to their contents. Number seven, canned vegetables. No matter the type of vegetable you choose to consume, opting for canned varieties means introducing a significant amount of chemicals and preservatives into your body. This can be likened to packaged vegetable juice and may have adverse health impacts, particularly for individuals managing diabetes. To ensure you receive the maximum nutritional benefits, it's advisable to consistently incorporate fresh, organically sourced vegetables from the market into your diet. Number eight, fried vegetables or oily vegetables. Eating vegetables is perfectly fine when prepared correctly. When a vegetable is deep fried in excessive oil or butter, it becomes laden with saturated fat, rendering it less suitable for consumption. This type of food can pose risks for individuals with diabetes, given their compromised immunity and potential sensitivity to high levels of saturated fats. If you have a preference for a particular vegetable, consider boiling, baking, or roasting it to preserve its nutritional value. Number nine, butternut squash. 
While butternut squash is rich in nutrients and fiber, it may not be an ideal choice for individuals with high blood sugar levels. This is primarily due to its high carbohydrate content, which can disrupt the body's ability to maintain stable blood sugar levels. For those dealing with fluctuating blood sugar, it's advisable to steer clear of this vegetable, as its potential negative impact outweighs its benefits. Lastly, we have vegetable oil, often perceived as a healthy option. However, these oils contain elevated levels of trans fats, which can pose risks for individuals already contending with diabetes-related issues. Additionally, most partially hydrogenated oils, an offshoot of trans fats, tend to be highly inflammatory. If you've received a diabetes diagnosis and are currently using partially hydrogenated soy or palm oil, it's advisable to discontinue this practice. Consider substituting these oils with healthier alternatives such as grapeseed oil, extra virgin olive oil, or avocado oil. So, which vegetables are most beneficial for individuals with diabetes? Among the array of vegetables to choose from, prioritizing options like broccoli, carrots, kale, cauliflower, spinach, asparagus, cabbage, eggplant, lettuce, cucumber, peppers, mushrooms, and others can be particularly advantageous. And that's the end of the video. As always, if you have any health concerns, it's essential to seek advice from a professional healthcare provider. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.